garlic world, home of the longest garlic only braid or braided garlic in the world. It's, it stinks like garlic everywhere, so you know you're in good one. Looking forward to see it. Wow, that's a lot of garlic. And it smells like garlic too. Wow, that's a lot of garlic. All the way around the room. For the first time in my life ever, I'm gonna uh, try some vanilla garlic ice cream. Yes, you heard correctly, vanilla garlic ice cream. I don't know if I can do it, but let's see. <laughs> How's it taste, Lija? Actually, it is exactly. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Predominantly garlic with a, a back taste of vanilla. Whoa! Did I say enough woes? Because. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. You should try. Vanilla, I'm not the one garlic. wearing the garlic hat. Yeah, I don't think I, 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 I won't be able to kiss anybody in the next in the next. I better few taste months. it myself. <laughs> That's not good. What is it? What it's, are you eating? It's garlic, vanilla ice cream. About maybe 80-20, with garlic being on the wrong side <laughs> of that equation. <laughs> Whoa! But it grows on you, right? Just no. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> it doesn't really grow on you. Look out, monkey, look out! Water, water, water! Hotch it, hotch it! Look at all these flies. All these flies. What are you doing, monkey? Oh my God. You are getting not just a, a shower, but a bath with suds tonight. Oh. This blue post and the post behind it represents the fault line of San Andreas Fault, the rupture line. And this fence is in front of me and the other part of the fence is behind me, separated by 16 feet or 4 or 5 meters of land that was ripped apart right here in 1906. What do you think about this smell? Mmm. Stinky. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is snow. No, no, snow? No. Snow delightful. Snow delightful. Snow delightful. And if you got no place to go, 
Let's, let's get back go. to the car. Let's get back to the car. Let's get back to the car. Yeah, I'm hungry. Says Monkey. Uh-huh. He doesn't like snow. Yeah, he's not much of a snow dog. No? Yeah. We are at the Living Sculpture Memorial north of Weed, California. This is the Korean War Veterans Monument. A broken sword representing the 38th parallel. And there are about a dozen sculptures like this in the area. A llama? Yeah. Llama? Llama. L-L-A-M-A. -L -A. I think his name is Hershey. Hershey. All Let's right. go meet him. All right. Go, Hershey. How about you? Want to try? He's not in favor of feeding anybody but himself. Oh, monkey. He won't hurt you. Okay. Won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. And then all this equipment gets cleaned in that room there, and then pre-sanitized before it's used. Mm -hmm. Well, these. These ladies, these three, it's their first year to be milkers, and this one, Dumpling, it's her fourth year. We really like Dumpling. Dumpling is a pro. She is a pro. She's a good milker, too. And how often do, is it twice a day that you milk um, them? It's twice a day until the 1st of November. Mm -hmm. When the time changes, we go to once a day. Um, it helps being power, because we're off the grid and make all of our own electricity. Oh. Well, you know, it's also, we're all solar power. And then in the winter, we have a small uh, micro hydro system mm -hmm. that runs in a seasonal creek. But in the, you know, it's not running mm -hmm. in the summer. Got it. <laughs> but in the summer, we have so much electricity. And this is where we spent the night. Yeah, it was actually quite comfortable. Mm -hmm. Here's our bed, the monkey who refuses to leave it. <laughs> I understand why. Uh huh. And what did we do last night? We watched a movie? Yes, it was Atwa the Goat. Very romantic movie. Etwa the Goat. Mm -hmm. And it's a story about? About uh, a guy who decides to fulfill his dreams of making the perfect goat cheese. And why would that be in this place? Because it's a goat farm. Ah. Oh. Gee, I must have missed that connection last night. But you, did you miss a connection with all the books about goats? I noticed a lot of goat books. Beatrice the Goat, Give a Goat a Hand. Uh -huh. Uh, I married yeah. a goat. Yeah. Things like that. Man a goatee. Man with a goatee. <laughs> sure. We are here in McMinnville, Oregon, home to the Spruce Goose, the world's largest airplane. So big that I cannot possibly get it in one frame. So big that the wings actually almost extend out of this building. These propellers are huge and there's four of them on each side. A monstrous plane so big you can put a DC-10 under each wing. 
Look at the tail. It's four stories tall. More than four stories tall, just the tail. You can put a plane under just the tail rudder. It's like a giant uh, condominium that is horizontal now. I mean, this thing is huge. But Monkey is not impressed. We're looking now down the uh, fuselage of the Spruce Goose where 750 men and tanks would have been uh, stored on the uh, trip across the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, these two tables were for test engineers. Mm -hmm. This airplane was configured for a test flight. Right. The day that flew. He was actually only supposed to do taxi tests that particular day. On his third taxi test, he got it to 75 miles an hour and it lifted off. He flew it for about a mile. Yeah, they so caught everybody off guard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Amazing. And this is just the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. for what is the world's largest flying boat. And it was at this position that Howard Hughes gave it one test flight in Long Beach. Wow.